In this lesson, we're going to be understanding how to solve systems of linear equations by substitution. The success criteria is I can solve a linear equation in two variables for either variable, and I can solve a system of linear equations by substitution. Another way to solve a system of linear equations is to use substitution to obtain an equation in one variable. Then, solve the resulting equation and substitute to find the value of the other variable. This will make more sense once we go over our first example. For example one, we're going to solve the system by substitution. So I'm going to zoom in here on my equations. I have y equals 2x minus 4 and 7x minus 2y equals 5. So if you remember, when we we're graphing systems of equations, uh, the solution was the ordered pair where the lines intersect. And that ordered pair is the same on both lines. So same thing here. Our xy value is going to be the exact same for our solution. So that means for our solution, this y and this y are identical. This x and this x are identical. So what I want to do is find an isolated variable. Okay? And in this case, I do have an isolated variable, which is y. Okay, It's all alone. And then I'm going to substitute or plug in the value of y, which in this case is 2x minus 4. And because this y and this y are the same, and I'm, I'm going to change this y into this 2x minus 4. Okay, So I'm going to take my y value and then plug it in here. And then I'm going to rewrite this equation, but instead of y, I'm going to write 2x minus 4. So that this becomes 7x minus 2 times 2x minus 4 equals 5. Okay, now I'm going to solve this equation to find my x value. First thing I'm going to do is distribute. So I get 7x minus 4x plus 8 equals 5. Next, I'm going to combine my like terms. 7x minus 4x is 3x plus 8 equals 5. Okay, now I'm going to subtract 8 on both sides. And I get 3x equals negative 3. And the last step is to divide 3 on both sides. So I get x equals negative 1. Okay. Now, I have my x value, but I still need my y value in order to have my solution, Okay, because I need an xy pair. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this x and then plug it back in to one of these equations. It doesn't matter which equation I plug this into, Okay, but I'd recommend the easiest equation. And if we look at these equations on the top, here, because I have a y value isolated, if I plug x in, then all I have to do is evaluate this, whereas if I plug x into this equation, I'd still have to solve for y. So I'd recommend plugging in if you don't have to solve. So that's going to be the top equation here. So I'm going to take this x, plug it in there, okay? and now I'm going to rewrite this equation. So that's going to be y equals 2 times my x value, which is negative 1, minus 4. Okay, well, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, and negative 2 minus 4 is equal to negative 6. So I have my y value now, and I have my x value down here, but I need to write my answer as an ordered pair. So it's going to be negative 1 comma negative 6. Okay. So I have successfully solved this system of equations. I've got my solution, and if you wanted to check your answer, you could plug these components back into your two equations, and if they're true, then you'll know that's correct, and I'll let you guys try that on your own. But anyway, now we're done with this one. So in this example, we have another system of equations to solve, but if we look at these equations, notice that I do not have an isolated variable yet. I need to isolate a variable, aka get a variable alone. Now, I can isolate any of these variables. I can solve for this x, this y, this x, or this y. But once again, I want to make my life as easy as I can. And I notice that these three variables, the 2x, the 3y, and the 2x, they all have coefficients next to them. And I see that this y does not have a coefficient next to it. So I'm going to solve for this y because I can save myself a step. But once again, no matter what variable you solve for, assuming you do everything correctly, it will work. Okay, I just like to make my life easier. So to solve for this y, I'm going to get rid of this plus 5 by subtracting 5 on both sides. So I get 2x minus 5 equals y. Okay, And now I have to plug this y value in to my other y value of the other equation, which is going to be this y. A common mistake would be to solve for an equation and then plug it back into the equation you got. And the reason that's not going to work is because we're not involving this equation. Um, so that won't help you get your answer. Anyway, I'm going to plug this y in here to this y because remember for the solution it's the exact same ordered pair so this y and this y are the exact same so I'm just going to rewrite this y as 2x minus 5. So I get 2x plus 3 times 
2x minus 5 equals negative 3. Now I'm just going to solve this equation to find my x value, distribute my 3. So I get 2x plus 6x minus 15 equals negative 3. Combine my like terms to get 8x minus 15 equals negative 3. And I can add 15 on both sides. So I get 8x equals 12. Now I just have to divide by 8 on both sides. And if I simplify 12 over 8, I get x equals 3 over 2. You could write this as 1.5 or 1 and 1 half. I'm just going to leave it as 3 over 2, but it doesn't matter. Anyway, now I'm going to plug this back in. And here it doesn't matter which equation I plug it back into because I have my x value and I need to find my y value. But what I would recommend is actually plugging it into the variable that we isolated for, okay? We got this y alone. So if I plug it into this, I won't have to solve anything. I'll just have to evaluate. Whereas if I plug it into one of these two equations, then I'll have to solve it. Okay, so I'm going to plug this in. Here we go. So that, that 3 halves is going to go in for this x, and I'm going to zoom in. So I get 2 times 3 over 2 minus 5 equals y. If you notice, these 2s are going to cancel out, so I'm going to cross these out and then rewrite this. I'm going to get 3 minus 5 equals y, and 3 minus 5 is just negative 2, so that's my y value. Okay, so now I just have to write my answer as an ordered pair, and that is going to be 3 over 2, comma, negative 2. All right, so I've successfully found my solution to my system of equations here, and now we're done. You are planning a birthday party. You buy a total of 50 turkey burgers and veggie burgers for $90. You pay $2 per turkey burger and $1.50 per veggie burger. How many of each burger do you buy? Well, the first thing we want to do in a word problem like this is always assign variables to something, okay? And since I'm looking for how many of each type of burger that I bought, I'm just going to call x the number of turkey burgers and y will be the number of veggie burgers. Now I just need to write a system of equations to help me solve my problem. So I'm going to look up here. Notice that I buy a total of 50 turkey burgers and veggie burgers. Okay. So to find the total of something, you just add them up. So I just have to add up the two types of burgers that I bought, which in this case are going to be x and y. And if I add up x plus y, I know that that's going to equal 50 total burgers. So my first equation is x plus y equals 50. All right. So now to find my second equation, I see that the total price of my order was $90, and I see that $2 per turkey burger and $1.50 per veggie burger, um, that was each unit cost. Well, in order to figure out the total amount of money that I spent just on turkey burgers, I would just do $2 and then times the number of turkey burgers, which in this case is X. So that's going to be 2x. That's the amount of money I pay for turkey burgers. And then same thing for veggie burgers. If I do $1.50 times the number of veggie burgers, well, that's y. So that's 1.5y. And if I add those up, so 2x plus 1.5y, that's going to be the total amount of money that I spent on burgers. Well, I know what that is. That's $90. So I have all of this equals 90. And now I have my two equations. So all I need to do is just solve the system of equations in order to figure out the number of turkey burgers and veggie burgers. So this is the step where I need to isolate a variable, okay? And it doesn't matter which variable I decide to isolate, but if you notice, in the top equation, both of these variables do not have coefficients, aka their coefficient is one, so it's gonna be easier to solve for. In the last couple of examples, I had y alone, so this time I'm gonna have x alone. So I'm gonna rewrite this equation. I'm gonna have x plus y equals 50. Okay, and then to solve for x, I'm just going to subtract y on both sides. So I'm going to get x equals negative y plus 50. Okay, and then I'm going to plug this value for x in here, which is negative y plus 50, into this x. Okay, a common mistake would be to plug this back into your original equation where you got this from, and that's just not going to work because you're not involving the other equation. Anyway, I get 2 times, since I'm plugging in, I'm going to use parentheses, negative y plus 50 plus 1.5y equals 90. Okay. 
Well, I'm going to distribute this 2, and I get negative 2y plus 100 plus 1.5y equals 90. Okay. Now I'm going to combine my like terms. So negative 2y plus 1.5y is going to be negative 0.5y plus 100 equals 90. Okay. Well, here I can just subtract 100 on both sides. And I get negative 0.5y equals negative 10. Okay. And then to cancel this, I can just divide by negative 0.5 on both sides. But this is also the same thing as negative 1 half y equals negative 10. So I also could multiply by the reciprocal of negative 1 half, which is negative 2. And I'm going to get y equals 20, because the negatives cancel out here. And then this whole thing cancels besides the y. Okay. You also could have just divided. Like I said earlier, that would be negative 10 divided by negative 0 0.5. And to get rid of this, I could just move the decimal once on the top, once on the bottom, to get 100 over 5. The negative on the top and bottom would cancel. And 100 over 5 also equals 20. So both ways will work. Anyway, I have my y value. Now I need to plug this back in in order to find my x value. And I could plug my y equals 20 into any of these three equations. But since I've already isolated x here, it's going to be easier if I plug it in right here. So I'm going to take this 20, plug it in there, and I get x equals negative 20 plus 50. Well, this is the same thing as 50 minus 20, which is 30. So my x value is 30. My y value is 20. Okay, But this is a word problem, so I need a word answer. If you go back up here, this is one of the many reasons why it's good to write down your variables. I know x is my turkey burgers and y is my veggie burgers. So that means I bought 30 turkey burgers and 20 veggie burgers. I'm just going to write that down. I bought 30 turkey burgers and 20 veggie burgers. So I've solved my system of equations, and I've written my word answer, and now we're done.